Hello everyone, today I'm going to be hunting for some more termites. And you might be wondering why I already have some. Well, these are a different type. These are a, like a giant type, basically. I put the species up above. Just look at that, guys. That's a soldier. It's huge. Alright, anyways, now I'm going to be hunting for some termites. Instantly found a uh, fat soldier in there, which I found pretty nice progress so far. Guys, look at this. Inside the season of reward, there's like a beetle in here or something. So they found interesting. Currently, I am taking pieces of wood apart and breaking them up to see if I can find any more termite layers. This one looks to be an abandoned piece. I used to have termites. But we have to keep looking until we find some more. Ooh. Oh, look, there was a worm in here. That's interesting. Oh, no, that's a. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a like a centipede. Yeah, yeah. One of those stig, the one stigs eat, right? Yeah. Wow, that's very cool. Okay. Oh. So, that's a big chunk of wood. There's thinner chunks of termites in them as well. So. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Come on. Oh, oh, here's a bunch in there. Oh, yeah? Hell yeah. Big guy. But oh, yeah, put it in there. Big two felt. I thought they were higher in here. Oh. I like hit the beetle part. Oh, there's a ooh, there's a good amount in there. Grub. Oh, that's a longhorn grub. Oh, look at this longhorn grub. Oh, got a bunch. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, woo hoo hoo hoo. Damn, that's. A look, look at that, guys. Look how fat they are. Already, guys. Look at all the termites so far. Look how fat they are. There's more in here. We're gonna get some more too. So far, we have gotten a lot of them, but there's still some hiding deep in within. We need to get them all. Got my trusty hammer. Oh, there's more in here, look. Holy gamoly. Holy gamoly, guys, look. Look at all those termites. They should be fine. They should be fine. It should be fine. It should be fine. It should be fine. <laughs> they keep like these soldiers are so nice. It's they nice are. Yeah, I might, I might leave this piece. Oh, guys! Mm. Look, guys, you can see like the tiny ones. There's a larvae right there. The small ones. Oh, yeah. Something to know is that originally I didn't plan to take this log back, so which is why I, I removed all the termites in it. And plus, I didn't know they were in there until afterwards. But for obvious reasons, because they hide so well. Look at that, guys. As I told you, more. Holy go moly, guys, they're everywhere. This is a lot better than using a rock. Yeah, <laughs> it works better, it seems like. Alrighty, guys, I got a ton of termites. I'm gonna finish processing the log and I'll get back to you guys once I am done. Damn. Do you look? It's hard to tell, but at that bottom, there's like just like 50 termites cuddling up together. You see that? The thing's moving at the bottom. Isn't that pretty cool? I found another longhorn beetle. Look how fat this one is. Eventually, this has become a nice beetle. And this one eats wood, as you can see. I see all these ants right here and the eggs. This is a, a, a hibernating colony of Tapanomia. Look at that. You can see all the workers. There's some queens, too. They're everywhere. And there's a, like eggs and larvae. Oh, and some beetles hibernating next to them. That's pretty cool. Anyways, yeah, we'll leave them to their own devices and take a picture. And yeah. Alrighty everyone, I'm back. And as you can see, I got a lot of termites. That's just like the tip of it. There's probably about a hundred-ish in here. First, we're gonna set up something so I can actually see them. They'll be in this little, like, little petri dish type nest. And this one's very simple. I'm gonna pour some dirt in there. Usually you would want finer dirt pieces with no big chunks, but this is the last my dirt, and I accepted my fate. That should be just enough dirt. Now we're gonna place some wood in there, which they will eat. I gotta do this carefully because they got like pieces of termites on them. Gotta give them small chunks. The wood is like just right for them. It's not too grainy where it'll just like destroy instantly, but it'll rip and the termites can eat through it. You already can see some termites in there. This amount of wood should last them for a while. 
but we'll get them a little more. Trying not to get the pieces with the lar bunch of termites on them. Alrighty, that's DIY uh, Petri dish. I'm gonna give them some water. These are damp wood termites, so they do need some water. That should be enough for them. Now we're gonna add some termites in. <laughs> Gotta be careful here. We're gonna put about 50 in here. There you go. Get, some, get a couple more. Gotta be very careful in here. Alright, that should be enough, however, number that is. And finally, we close that. Making sure I don't crush any. And this is an airtight, so they can breathe in. I now I can watch this. Isn't that pretty cool, guys? And now on to the main course. You'll understand why it's the main course in a second. Just adding some dirt in there. Last of my dirt. The dirt's just to help them with moisture because they are damp with termites, as I said earlier. Gonna give it some. This is just some water to keep them moist. You don't want it like completely like soaking wet because that can help mold grow and we don't want that right here is the piece of wood that the termites are in and it's i just ended up using this again so i'm gonna do that in a second we're going to first put the hot piece of wood in so that should have most of the termites and then we're going to put this nice chunk just like this it's going to be hard for me to see them in the future but i should see them crawl out once in a while and now we will add these other bits in. This will be a lot easier. I'm just gonna throw them in there. Oh, so I can just go like this, like that. You can see like termites crawling around. Oh, look, there's even more. Oh, <laughs> look at that, guys. There's even more. Look at those soldiers. There's literally soldiers in there. Add some more wood. And alrighty, now all the termites are in. I'll give them a day to settle in, and I'll show you guys what they're like today after. It's been one day, and as you can see, they made the petri dish nest home. They did various things, and I'll show you one by one. And the condensation here doesn't really matter, it goes away right there. I think I'm pretty sure it's a reproductive, I'm not pretty sure, really sure. But look at how fat that termite is. Anyways, first off, they started covering the ceiling or parts closer to the wood with like with wet clumps of dirt or not dirt, sorry, wood that they processed. As you can see, they made various holes in the wood. They've been like making it trying to make it home. There's literally a termite in that piece of wood right there. You can see various pieces of that lighter wood and that's all they're processing over the night. There's another hole for the termites right there. I don't know what that termite's doing, but anyways, if you look, they're doing quite well. And it's pretty really interesting to see like the variations in the termite sizes. I think they're doing that because I'm stressing them out. So I'll put these away in momentarily. Look at that. You can't get, you can't look and not look at these guys and, and like think, wow, I don't want to keep these. Well, it makes sense. They're termites, but that's a pretty neat behavior. And now on to the bigger colony. I opened the lid and I immediately noticed a tiny little like mite or something in there. Or a tiny little spider. Anyways, I am inside the big bin of termites I have. And as you can see, they've already started processing the wood. That's a good sign. You may be wondering, where are all the termites? Are they all dead? Well, we're going to lift this just once and you'll see all the termites. Three, two, one. 
Boom. There are the termites. There's like a... If you look really closely, there is like a, a soldier head there or something for some reason. As you can see, they process the wood quite a bit to close the gaps. There are some termites there. Let's see if we can find any. You can see a termite right there. They're all basically all hiding inside this piece of wood. That's why I can't see them. And there's some down there, of course. See like one's butt right there. Another butt right there. See, they did a pretty good job in covering the hole I made last time. So that's why you can't really see them that much. But they are there, as you can see. There you see a termite just came out of that hole right there. I'm going to put this back so I can stop bothering them. Alrighty, I put the wood back. And in retrospect, I don't think I'm ever going to uh, see these guys again. But it's good knowing I have a ton of termites in this piece of wood. And they hide quite well. Because it's just like in this one piece of wood in this bin, there's like hundreds of termites. And big ones too. Anyways, yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good day. Real quick, guys, take a look and guess whether or not there are termites inside of this log. And leave your thoughts down in the comments, and I'll answer you shortly. Everyone, once again, have a great day, and I hope you come back to watch more of my videos.